glass. I don't need to, I don't need to do house cleaning. I need to burn it down. <clears throat> I'll try to cram several videos into one here. Um, this fan starting to sing. Uh, I watched a video earlier by uh, Canadian Arctic Radio. Real good guy. That's the channel name. Um, and a guy made a comment. A guy in his comments made a comment about his video, about the walk away deal. People leave at the left. And uh, this guy in this comment made me think of something I was going to talk about before. Uh, my cousin that died last a year ago, year ago, a year ago in November, uh, was the one that had the stroke. He's taking food every day. He's actually my dad's cousin, so he, I guess he's my second cousin. And his mom was my dad's aunt, but I was she was my auntie. That was just you know when I was growing up as a kid. She died early nineties. Um, she was a she was the only Democrat in the family. Everyone else in the family was far right, especially my grandfather. Um, and she, I mean, she voted for Carter, she voted for Mondale, I think Mondale ran, Mondale, or Mondale and somebody else, whatever it was. She voted for Dukakis, it was real, I remember the whole Dukakis deal, she was just totally for this guy. Um, and she was, she was an Armenian woman. Um, I don't know if you'd say she was the first generation of the, the, the family line here. Her, her, her mother was one that survived the, uh, uh, genocide, the Armenian genocide. Her and her brother came out here. Everyone else, the other 15 people in the family were all murdered uh, in that deal. And so that was their their mother, was a direct descendant of that. Uh, but she was a hardcore Democrat and would fight with my grandfather. We would have this family vacation every year and they'd go back and forth. And it was usually good natured, but I mean it was the whole family against her. But she was a, she was a big strong woman. She could take it. And uh, I didn't quite know what it was back then, the whole left, right, liberal, or uh, Democrat, Republican thing, until, until my, well, until Bill Clinton came along. I really didn't understand the whole thing until Bill Clinton was running. But my aunt, I mean, she, was, she had pictures in the house of JFK, um, hardcore Democrat. But she loved this country. She was USO, she was one of the ladies that worked in the factories during the war, um, but she loved this country. She was proud to be an American, um, but was a Democrat. She, she, you know, she had, that's what it was like. I remember these Democrats, okay, they were proud to be Americans. They were proud, you know, proud of the country. And, um, but you look at, you look at the people that are going on, I'm not saying that all Democrats are like this, or. Um, but you look at these people today where they're not proud of the country, they don't like America, um, and they just soon destroy it, tear it down, build something else. Uh, she never would have stood for that. She would have stayed a Democrat, but she never would have stood for that. Um, but, and I know those people, those kind of Democrats are still here, because I mean, they're, they're, I think they're leaving the the current party, whatever you want to say, but I mean, I've done the same thing with the Republican Party. But it's just different how, how more people, Democrats back then weren't about destroying the place, they just wanted to do it a little bit differently. Um, I don't know if I can put that other bit in here. No, it's going to be too long. Anyhow. I was just reflecting on that. She, she was, like I said, she died. She was in her 70s, died in the early 90s. And um, very proud American. You just don't see that in a lot of the left and the stuff that they're, the, the left that we're hearing from. So I think progressives aren't necessarily liberals. There's, they've got some other idea going on, but they're far, um, they're not very proud as far as of being American. Anyhow, that's my two cents. Love you, God bless.